for fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, Easy Mutt. Use code Venom at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's up, guys? Venom Fire here back in the video. And Timmy bring you guys in online gameplay. A lot of you guys have been requesting this, so I'm going to go ahead and bring you one out of regs. If you guys want me to play Mutt or regs, let me know down below. I'll probably be alternating through. But if you do have a preference, let me know, and I will kind of strictly stick to that one. But today we're going to be running the gun tight offset offensive formation as I accidentally click play. But um, yeah, we're going to run gun tight offset tight end. That's a formation that's been requested a lot. I think a good amount of people are running it. And we're going to go ahead and use the Green Bay Packers. Now I feel like the Packers are one of the only usable teams in regs just because you have gunslinger and you also have a route technician on offense. Two very important things. We're going to be running this out of the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. Uh, now, the one thing you guys do have to understand with the gameplay is that I'm not going to be able to explain every little thing like I do in my practice mode videos, um, but I do think they're a lot more entertaining and you could still potentially learn a lot from them. Um, here are my playbooks. Again, we're going to focus on the offense. I'll show a couple of clips from the defense, but again, we're going to mainly focus in on the offense going deep into that. I will be in 4-6 defensive playbook. Also, before we get into the video, make sure you guys do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would be much appreciated. We are almost there at 15,000 subscribers, so if you're new, hit that subscribe button. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead. And with that being said, let's just go and get into it. All right, as you see, we got the New Orleans Saints. Now again, sometimes I do like to run regs just because you're not going to face the exact same things every single game. I think it's a little bit more entertaining with the schemes you could see online because you might not see stock man-to-man -man every time. You could see a lot of zone, especially in regs, because the players aren't as good. So overall, I just think it's a little bit nice breath of fresh air. First off the bat, I always go on ball carrier conservative. That's something that I like to do. I don't like fumbling, and players in regs don't really do much for you anyways. Now, as far as the halfback one package is concerned, you could always use it. You don't have to, but I am personally going to use it. Now, with Devontae Adams, I want him at either this right tight end spot or this left tight end spot and I'm just going to go ahead and sub in the receivers that I like better. I like Funchess better and I also like Tavon Austin. Uh, now as far as our audibles are concerned what we're going to have is we're going to have uh, Y out HB swing. We're also going to run uh, mesh spot and then at RB we want Saint spot. So here's a look at what we have. Usually the play I will come out in is going to be 01 trap. Uh, so I basically have five different audibles right there. But we're going to take this delay and then we'll hop into it. Of course, he's got to accept that. Uh, first and 15, sometimes I'll go with the pass. But I do like this look against 3-3-5. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking that I can run inside zone to that left-hand side. So I'm just going to, especially since he pinches DBs, I'm going to actually motion Austin out. And then I'm just going to run it to this side. Kind of swoop in there, get a little stop and go. And we're already in a second and two. So here I'm going to go with uh, Y out HP swing. Just a standard setup. Again, we're just kind of testing out the water here. I go two drags, got the corner out, got the post route, and boom, we got the corner out wide open there with Devin Funches. We're just gonna go ahead and take that. Looks like he was playing pretty hard flats on the bottom. We just went ahead and threw it over the top of his curl flat or hard flat. Now, obviously, when you're running the ball, it's gonna be a little bit better to run it on this wide side with your running back on the short side of the field. That's exactly what we're gonna do out of 01 trap, something I always like to do with the run. Again, you'll see me do this out of inside zone, out of Bowen trap, is I like to motion this outside receiver out. Just kind of gives it a little bit more of a threat to actually pass the ball. Um, it's going to make your opponent worry about it. He's going to think about the passing game. Another play that I also like is the Saints in play. You see we got uh, Valdez Scantling here on this kind of post route. We have Aaron Jones here. He's on that little running back in route, whatever you would want to call it. Uh, we have I like the route that Devontae's at on also so i'm just going to go with a uh, little y on a streak i don't think you can smart out a so just a relatively stock setup uh, i'm also going to double team that middle guy i think that's cam jordan so we're just going to get some better blocks here man coverage we got aaron jones he does have that backfield master and some terrible tackling from my opponent we're in the crib now i will talk about my zone drops pretty much what i'm going to do i'm just going to run a relatively base uh 335 defense i'm just going to set my curl flats to 20 flats to five looks like he's picking his play relatively quickly uh, I do plan on running this 335 wide. We're just going to get some heavy guys out there. Now, again, uh, we obviously want some safeties at linebacker. Uh, you want Darnell Savage usually at that middle guy. You can get Amos on the right. I could also leave Amos at safety, so something I probably should do. Or actually, we don't really have too much time. Now, it looks like we're just going to be running some stock man. Boom. Oh, my. He actually got that. Nice pass, dude. Jeez. Bro, I hate how... 
All right, guys, we finally got our adjustments down. He hit me with this basic corner out. I was literally stuck in like a 4-6 defense, but now we should be good. Yeah, he doesn't even have Elvin Kamara in the game, uh, so that's definitely interesting. But we're just going to kind of force him to take underneath routes. Looks like he's also in New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. I would expect kind of a halfback zone to the weak side. We will see. I'm going to go ahead and just rush these three guys. We'll see. It looks like he's going to be forced to throw that. Nice stick by him on offense, but... Um, against this formation, I think I'm just going to run two man under so I can get that QB spy out on the field. I uh, did not get it off, but we can kind of lurk down. You see Jair, some nice coverage there. So again, all right, looks like he's throwing to his tight end a lot. I'm going to also spy Taysom, he Taysom Hill here. We're going to put him middle third on our field. And we're just going to use her the safety. Drag's not open. We're going to use her Camara. Corner out was open, but he threw it late and we end up getting pressure. Just a basic three man rush. We had a QB spy. Now right here, he has Breeze in the game. It's going to be a fourth down. Uh, I think I'm going to go with a little bit of coverage here. Uh, typically, you do want to uh, rush that superstar, so we're going to rush Zadarius and throw Rashawn Gary, I think, here in coverage. Just kind of surveying, and I mean, I put my guy in the perfect spot. He didn't make the play, but we end up getting the stop anyways. Now, you do have some other runs out of the offense. I'm actually going to go ahead and probably flip my run here. Uh, now, the good thing about this formation, none of the receivers are going to move around, so the Cornerback's still going to say on that right side out of the nickel formation. We're going to have numbers running to the left side. Uh, again, I'm going to motion Tavon out. He actually did adjust that player, but we'll see if we can kind of get to the outside here. And we do. So again, I'm just going to continue to run the ball until he shows me that he can, you know, get out of it. He's staying in these 3-3-5, 2-4-5 double A gap formations. And we're going to take advantage of that every time. Looks like my opponent's actually in tight offset tight end. I think the best way to defend this is to shift to the weak side and just run a double flat type of a defense. He's going with this kind of stock play. The corner out's bagged. Whew. Did you just see my curl flat stop with the corner out? Now, we did have pretty good coverage. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I shade over the top. Kevin King should do his job here. He's just snapping the ball really quickly here. That was stock mesh spot, and we put Amos in that hard flat. He's able to make the play for us. Uh, we'll see what our opponent does. He looks like he's going to get out of here, so we will hop into another game. All right, guys, here we are in our new game. We're going against the 49ers, so again, a little bit of a unique team per se. Uh, I'm just going to try and get this run playoff quick because I don't want to be in a situation where he's going to have to accept my delay. 49ers defense is tough. They got a lot of superstar power on there. Uh, we'll just motion out and run this inside zone. So we get pretty good blocks there. Overall, I'll take my six yards on my first play. Uh, again, he's leaving the middle walk inside wide wide open if I wanted to I could do that But I'm gonna go same spot. I'm gonna put a on a smart routed corner out I'm gonna put B on a streak X on a curl and Y on a flat. So he's actually using Sherman on that left I could easily run inside zone to the left if I want to but um, yeah, we'll see what he does and uh, Boom, we're just gonna play maker Valdez scaling up just kind of shake him there Now San Fran does not have an inside stop so I can run a one trap at my leisure um, again, he looks like he might even be switching formations, but we're running the ball. We're picking up, you know, seven yards of carry. I'm going to continue to run the ball here. And, um, again, I'm going to put Devonte on that smart outed corner. As far as here, again, I'm going to go curl flat to zig or flat right there. Just a basic curl flat combo. Um, and we're just going to run this relatively stock here. I'm just going to put B on a flat, block my running back and we'll see what he does. This could be zones, could be man, a little bit interesting here. And just gonna kind of lay back, aggressive catch, that curl route, and that boom, that's a man coverage beater. Now, we're just gonna run stock Y out HB swing. We put Y on a drag, and overall, I'm just gonna hit Devontae on this deep corner route. If not, we're gonna check underneath to Funches, and we're gonna run you over, get off me. I've been putting Devontae on that short corner out every single time, so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Funches on the short corner out. I'm gonna put Devontae on a little out route, wheel RB, uh, just something like this. We're going to put X on a flat, obviously high-low read. We'll see what he does. It's going to be stock man-to-man. -man. Uh, we don't really have anything here. We're just going to kind of chill in the pocket for a while, see if we can get someone open. Boom, X, wide open. So again, he either rushed two or three. Bakhtiari is going to hold down that left side. Just wait for a route bounce, and we're going to be wide open. That was dollar. So that was a new formation, but now he's going to be running the ball a whole lot if I had to guess. We have an inside stuff, so I'm not super concerned. Uh, right off the bat, an 0 1 trap, and I just get quick snapped into oblivion right there. But uh, yeah, he's going to run the ball a lot. These receivers are terrible, so I'm just going to spy them every time. Uh, I'm going to shade over the top, though, because I don't want to get burnt. We have to defend Kittle. You're a risky, risky man there, testing Jair Alexander on that slant route. But he does want to run the ball. Make no mistake about it. I'm going to uh, 
go with something like this every play. Uh, I'm actually going to man him up on Kittle. And we have our user here, corner out, bagged. Oh, my goodness. So not a good play. I mean, he corner routed there. Uh, so, again, whatever side Kittle's on, I'm just going to put X here in a curl flat zone. Uh, I'm going to user JC Jackson here. He's going to pass. Corner out's not going to be open. Anything deep is covered. Oh, geez. Nice route, but... Again, I think I'm going to go to a zone coverage base here because the man coverage, he has some good routes. It's going to be a run to the right. Um, it's going to be a little RPO. Nothing open. Give me that. So again, Sullivan was there on a hard flat. We're going to take advantage of that. Uh, maybe I actually fall down. I'm going to fall down at the 50 so we can run some offense. Um, it is an offensive video, so I don't run, want to run a pick six and he's going to rage quit. So we're just going to run some offense here. Here, this is going to be stock. Man-to-man uh, -man coverage here. So I'm gonna go with the mesh spot. I'm gonna put uh, Adams on that even though Sherman is gonna be manned up on him. Sherman doesn't have any man coverage abilities So we're just gonna run uh, again relatively stock type setup something like this and We're gonna put Jones on a wheel um, Guys, I'm looking for Funches Adams late in the play. I got Valdez Scantling maybe Austin on a route bounce We're gonna snap it boom and you see Devonte. Um, looks like he hard flattened on the right, kind of a cover two look. Uh, here, I'm just gonna run the ball. We have our X factor, so can't throw some incompletions here, but boom, just run the ball, kind of stop and go, pick up our six yards. He's in double A gap. Now here, I'm just gonna be smart. I'm just gonna go back to the well, go with this combo. Now I'm just gonna put X on kind of a backside slant. There's not really a reason for me to put him on a drag because if he just hard flats the right, I'm bagged. So we'll just go with this. Again, I am a little bit worried about him setting pressure, so I'm gonna block a decent amount of guys here. Boom, we got the corner out wide open. I mean, what is going on, Aaron Rodgers? I mean, we just can't throw the corner routes here. I'm going for this 100%. As far as the route combo here, I'm going to go with, I don't expect this to be man coverage. This honestly could be, though. It's not pressed. Uh, if it's man coverage, we're going to go with, like, Devontae on a little hitch, X on a flat, and then I'm just going to put our Aaron Jones on a wheel route. Now, we got Bakhtiari blocking Bosa. I think we should get enough time to throw this. It is man coverage. So I'm just going to go ahead, playmaker outside, wait for him to get open, and he did have a click on. Nice click on by him. It was a little bit late. I saw that he clicked on, but still able to complete it. So going back to the run game, I'm going to take this to the two-minute warning. Big gain or not, that time he dropped his defensive lineman, so he, or his linebacker over the center. Now something that the Saints playbook has, this little I-form slot flex. We have a power O, we have a dive, we also have this off tackle. So uh, as far as what I'm going to do on first down... I'm not sure exactly what he's doing with that cornerback, but I'm just going to run halfback dive. If we pick it up, it's cool. If not, we get to take another one of his timeouts, uh, and we score the touchdown, so I'm not mad at that. All right, now he's in the shotgun. A little bit weird. I didn't expect him to go to the shotgun, but I guess it's a pass situation. He's already abandoning the run game, and he might actually have that cover three beater. Nice cover three beater, man. Um, he saw that I was in cover three. We, we do make the tackle, but uh, that's going to be our concern. Hold him to three points. We do shoot the gap. We're able to do that. I'm going to burn a timeout now. Uh, I am going to play the run heavy here. That's really all I expect him to do uh, necessarily. So I'm just going to spy the running back, the player that's made up on the running back. Uh, this is going to be a pass here, boys. Oh, shoot. He actually did run it. Terrible run defensive sick, but nice stretch call. I was kind of expecting a dive. Um, I'm going to do some unique stuff here to kind of take that away from him. I do think Sherman's made up on the slot guy here, which is Devin Funches. What I'm going to do... Kind of put him on a backside zig. I'm going to streak B. Again, he could mix in zone here, but the, here's my route combo. Similar to Z-spot out of tight doubles. I'm going to motion Valdez Scantling out. Snap the ball here. And uh, good defense here. I had the table route open. And I throw a Stevie, but thankfully he has a terrible user. I'm going to burn a timeout because I know my receivers are tired. But I'm going to go back to wide HB swing. Uh, just kind of go back, take a breath. Uh, he's running a blitz here. To check down to Devontae. Zoo, ooh, just juke him out, but I could kind of recognize the blitz. He was a little bit frustrated about me throwing that pick. He knows that I have a lot of time on offense, so I kind of felt like he was going to send some heat. Now here, my goal is just to take his timeout 100%. If I score, I score, but I'm just going to take out his timeout. Um, and we do end up getting on the one, which is what I wanted. I didn't want to score there. QB sneak will sometimes score, sometimes not score. So uh, it's usually around 50-50. We're just going to run stock QB sneak here. We'll see if we get in, and we do. So again, we get our touchdown. He has no timeouts. I, here's the same situation. You gotta hold him to three. All right, he's going to split close. There are cover three beaters out of this as well, so I'm gonna make sure that I do go ahead and um, just defend the cover three beaters. Corner out's not open. Everything is bagged. 
Uh, he's gonna look for a route bounce. We're gonna playmaker that, and boom, easy pick. So um, we're gonna end up picking him off. Probably gonna score again. I wouldn't be surprised if he quit here. We'll see what he does, and yeah, so. Again, we kind of got some good stuff the first game, second game, some good stuff, a lot of offensive drives. Again, I can't control if these guys quit or not, but usually um, in my, I think they're less likely to quit, but you saw the stats there at the bottom, pretty good game by me. And overall, it's going to do for the video. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and peace. I'm out of here.